Tony is one word. Are you kidding me? Tony Galliano is simply unstoppable. Tony's worthy of this award because he is first and foremost a city builder. The most passionate sides of Tony I've seen in all the two years I've been with him are when we talk about city building. That's the motor that drives him. He took what was a small print shop that started in his father's basement and turned it into St. Joseph's Printing, employing thousands of people and responsible for some of the most important publications of printing work in, in the country. He was part of the AGO transformation and he was part of the foundation of Luminato. I think in 20 years' time, people will still think that the, um, the Geary development of the AGO is a masterpiece. It's an absolute masterpiece. I also think Luminato will by then be a global brand like the Edinburgh Festival, like Sydney, Hong Kong. And I think people will remember the very difficult birth it had, the complex birth coming out of a Toronto that was really challenged by SARS. There was also happening here the largest construction period for arts. There was a new opera center, there was a new ROM, and what Tony and David said is we need to put some software around the hardware. The metaphor I keep hearing as a newcomer is the lights have gone out and this festival was designed to help turn the lights back on. We've all celebrated the good times with Tony, but some of us have also experienced more of the tougher times, and particularly when co-founder of Illuminato, David Pico, passed away. David was a big loss to the organization and to the community, but Tony stepped up in a big manner and brought Luminato to its next phase. So I think 20 years on, when Luminato has an even bigger world profile than it has today, people will remember the two men who founded it. You know, when you see people like this who work so hard, not just at their jobs, but then they give an entire second career to building up the communities in which they live, you're just amazed at this. And I think he does it out of a genuine love. Tony is very persistent. Tony gets something in his head. There's no stopping him. And either follow or get out of the way. And that is a trait that I think has allowed him to do so many great things in life. His family came to Canada with virtually nothing. And I hope what people can learn from this is everything is possible here. You may come here with almost literally nothing. And it's the kind of community and the kind of society and the kind of country where you can do extraordinary things. And that's a cliche for lots of countries. I think it really is true here in Canada. And I think his story is a, is a wonderful demonstration of that. Tony, the Edmund C. Bovey Award for Business and the Arts is for someone who's accomplished in business and made a huge contribution to the arts. And they're interconnected. The success of business relies on a strong arts community and vice versa. You've done both. You've built up a family business in a very proud way, and you've made an immense contribution across the arts. And for that, uh, you are a deserving recipient of this award, and I just say congratulations and thank you.